For you. All right, Chris, thanks. New at 11, marijuana is going to be classified as a less dangerous drug. The U.S. Drug Enforcement Agency making that announcement earlier today. So let's say you get pulled over with marijuana. Your charges won't be as hefty. Steve Iwanek spent the day diving into how this could affect Ohio since recreational marijuana was just legalized. Steve, what does this mean for people in the state? Well, Jeff and Kaylee, it's important to know that this does not legalize all recreational use of marijuana in every state. It still leaves the power in the hands of state governments. But with Ohio passing issue two back in November, it leaves the future of the Buckeye State in a position where the negative stigma that surrounds marijuana, it soon might be reduced. I think you're going to see a lot of people with the federal law changing to find it a lot more acceptable. Marijuana is catching a break. The DEA announced on Tuesday it will reclassify the plant as a less dangerous drug, a move that many who work with the plant and its products have wanted to see for a while. Marijuana has had a bad stigma for so long that it's just been a slow pace. It really should have happened a long time ago because, again, you're talking about a plant that really, really never has hurt anybody. The DEA previously defined marijuana as a Schedule One substance, which meant it was seen, quote, with no currently accepted medical use and a high potential for abuse. Other Schedule One substances include heroin and ecstasy. With the reclassification, is now defined as a Schedule Three substance, which means it will now be seen as drugs with a moderate to low potential for physical and psychological dependence, the same as testosterone. Scheduling from one to three is actually a step in the right direction. It's going to uh, free up a lot of different people from what they're talking about as well out of jail, too. Um, it's, 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 it's a good thing. Marijuana violations, depending on severity, can range from misdemeanors to first-degree felonies. But for those who work with the product daily and see the benefits firsthand, the most important direction is breaking the stigma. My mom in general, who was uh, dying of pancreatic cancer, um, 10 years ago, when, which is the reason why I opened Tulip Hemp Center, because I helped her, which the doctor said she had three months to live, I helped her stick around for a little over a year. So she made all four of her boys' birthdays, made all the holidays one more time, and I, it was all credit, to, be, credit to, to, to marijuana, and in most cases, she wasn't even getting high from it. Now, recreational cannabis license applications are expected to open on June 7th for dispensaries to apply for, according to the Ohio Division of Cannabis Control. And then from their provisional licenses are expected to be issued by September 7th. Reporting in West Toledo, Steve Iwanek, WTOL 11.